Hey guys, Alex aka Miggy here and today's video, do taller men have a higher risk of heart disease and early death? A 1992 study of nearly 1,700 dead men found that on average men shorter than 5 foot 9 hung around till the ripe old age of 71. Men taller than 6 foot 4 on the other hand checked out around the age of 64. The residents of Okinawa, an island off the coast of Japan, have historically had the longest life expectancy on earth, age 78 for men and a 40% lower risk of heart disease and cancer. They also have the largest number of centenarians per capita. The average height for those who live to blow out 100 candles is 5, is five feet even. Most centenarians worldwide are shorter than 5 foot 5. Within nearly every species, smaller individuals live longer, says Thomas Samaras, who runs Reventropy Associates in San Diego, a non-profit that investigates the ramifications of a world population that's constantly getting taller and heavier. Tiny dogs, cats, elephants, rats, bats, turns out they all live to become fairly old. The same is true for humans, Samara says, with one asterisk. They must have access to proper nutrition and a healthy lifestyle, otherwise the opposite is true. Unhealthy short people die younger than unhealthy tall people. Quote, shorter people tend to be more overweight or obese, Samara says. Also, early childhood health problems can stunt growth and impact adult health. So what's a tall guy to do? Samara's advises against freaking out and running to your cardiologist's office. Number one, keep perspective. Height studies tend to be small. It's difficult to get a large group of people who are 6 foot 10 together to study these things, says Michael A. Rosenberg, MD of the Harvard Medical School. For every Dawkins and Malone and Wills, there is a 6 foot 9 Bill Russell who's 81 now. 2. Be skeptical. For every study that connects height and early death, you can find one that concludes the opposite. A 2014 study, for example, found that tall people have a 20 to 25% lower risk of sudden cardiac death the disorder that too often takes youth athletes out. 3. Look down regularly. The biggest risk factor you have for an early exit is your weight. Samara says that healthy short people have lower body mass indexes than healthy tall guys, and research has shown a direct correlation between lower BMI and longevity. Keep your BMI in check with a total body training plan. 4. Wear cuffs. Healthy short people also generally have lower blood pressure, Samara says. Because they have shorter circulatory systems, their heart don't have to work as hard. Number 5. This one's important. Eat fewer calories. This might be the granddaddy of all longevity related tips. Those little 100 year old looking ovens, they ate 50% fewer calories than mainland Japanese counterparts as kids and 70% less as adults. Researchers don't think it's a coincidence that life expectancy jumped worldwide by 6 years during the Great Depression, a time when food was harder to find. Number 6 chill the hell out. Samaras looked at 145 longevity studies that have been published over the past 35 years and says that, best as you can tell, height is only 10% of the longevity picture. Many other factors have as big an impact. Economic status, smoking, alcohol intake, exercise levels, and of course, genetics. So instead of stressing about your height, focus your energy on the six ways to become a millionaire. <laughs> Rich people, turns out, live five years longer than poor people. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, make sure to check out drivenanddesire.com, check out kktexpress.com to boost your natural energy through the roof, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Drop the bass, kitty. If you want to protect your online privacy and help my channel out at the same time, visit drivenanddesire.com forward slash NordVPN. If you sign up through that link, I will earn a small commission to keep this channel as well as my other projects like drivenanddesire.com going. Take us out, kitty. I got money in the bag. Shut it with your thing. <laughs>